Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be my hair care routine. I'm gonna be showing you guys what I use on my hair from shampoos to deep conditioners to purple shampoo to oils to everything. So let's go ahead and get started. So first off, I wanna say that I do have a lot of hair. My hair is very, very thick. And when I got a haircut in May, I asked the lady to thin out my hair as much as she could, but to still leave it looking a little bit full, if that makes sense. So I do have thick hair, and I feel like it, it could take a lot because I've bleached my hair so many times, and my hair still feels and looks good. Also, I want to mention that I don't use heat on my hair every day. I use it maybe once, maybe once a week. Like last night, I washed my hair. And all I did was kind of like twist it back on both sides and it dried like this. The days that I usually wash my hair are on Tuesdays and on Saturdays. Who and conditioner that I'm using right now. It's the Garnier Whole Blends Nourishing Shampoo and Conditioner. So basically this has avocado oil and shea butter extracts and the bottle says it deeply replenish and restore. So I have my iPad right here and I'm going to Google on how avocado is good for your hair because I know that it's good for your hair I just don't know exactly what it does so I'm going to read what Google has to say um, it says the same fats and oils in avocado that make them good for your body also makes it a great option for helping to repair dry brittle or damaged hair olive oil is also extremely hydrating and it helps protect your hair from damage so basically all um, avocado is gonna help your hair stay hydrated it left my hair feeling so, so soft, not one tangle. It was amazing. I didn't even brush my hair. I didn't even comb my hair afterwards. It, these are amazing. When you get out of the shower, it's very important for you to use a comb instead of a brush because when your hair is wet, it's at its most fragile state. And when you use a brush and you have tangles and you're brushing your hair, you're breaking your hair. So you're gonna get a lot of breakage. So if you do that and you have breakage, start using a comb because that'll save and change your hair. The wet brush and it's used, you can use this on wet hair. I got this one at Ulta a while back and this one is just by the brand con air between washes i do use dry shampoo i talked about my favorite dry shampoo in my last video which was the batiste i don't have one to show you because i've already ran out of it but basically between washes i just use dry shampoo on my hair and that fixes the oily problem i'm going to be telling you what i do on a day which is tuesday and i'm going to show you what i do on b day which is saturday a day is when I do the deep conditioning and usually for my deep conditioning I will use the macadamia nourishing moisture mat. It smells amazing. It just smells like, I don't know what it smells like honestly. I'm one of those people that cannot describe scents. But besides that, it works amazing. On the bottle it says to use it for 5 to 10 minutes but honestly I think that those 5 to 10 minutes don't do anything I've left it for 5 to 10 minutes and I've left it for 30 minutes and usually when I leave it for 30 minutes I can see a difference and feel a difference on my hair so always deep condition my hair at least once a week sometimes I'll use the coconut oil for a deep conditioner to be honest the coconut oil on my hair it doesn't leave my hair feeling magically soft it leaves my hair looking nice but this mask does a better job at moisturizing I've heard so many people say it's it works wonders on their hair it repairs their hair it makes it look really soft and silky and it just does a miracle on the hair and to me this coconut oil doesn't do like great great things to my hair I still use it because I do feel like it still moisturizes and conditions my hair but it's nothing crazy to me so sometimes I will not use this and just use my deep mask. overview of day A, I will wash my hair with shampoo and then I will leave in my deep conditioner and rinse it out. Since we're still talking about hydration, I love oils. This one is the, by the same brand of Macadamia. Nourishing Moisture Oil Spray. Drive deep conditioned and washed my hair. I still like to add some oils to the ends of my hair so that way they don't look dry. Even though they don't because I do add the deep conditioner and that works really really well but I still like to add some more and 
this is what I've been using but don't put the oils up here because that'll make your hair look dirty and you don't want that so for day B which is Saturday I always use purple shampoo the purple shampoo that I'm using right now is by the brand master cuts and it just says silver shine shampoo so this does actually take out my brassiness I really like it and this is a 33.8 fluid ounce and it retails for $18.29. Use of purple shampoo is I just section out my hair and make sure that every strand of my hair gets the purple shampoo and then I put it up in a bun. I leave it in my hair for about 15 to 20 minutes. Don't leave your purple shampoo on for too too long because if you do it'll turn your hair purple and you don't want that. So if it does turn your hair purple all you could do is just wash it out with some normal shampoo and it should take out the purpleness. So I do leave it on for about 15 to 20 minutes and after that I just go in the shower, wash my hair like normal and just apply my normal conditioner and then I follow up with my oil spray on my ends. I always follow up with oil spray on my ends no matter what. It doesn't matter if I've already done a deep conditioner or if I haven't. I always follow up with, the, with an oil because I love the way it leaves my hair looking. My ends feel so, so smooth and they look shiny and healthy and I love that. So that's what I do for day B. Okay, so this next thing is going to be a little bit weird if you haven't heard of it. It's called chelating your hair. Chelating, chelating, yeah, chelating. I think it's called chelating. Um, basically, this is a process that I do to deep clean my hair. This has nothing to do with hair color. Um, I believe anybody can do this. It strips your hair from all the oils, from all the products that you have used on your hair. It basically just deep clean your hair. Like deep, deep, squeaky, squeaky clean your hair. Dawn dish soap. Yes. I use Dawn dish soap to deep clean my hair because this is made to take out the grease from the pans when you wash dishes so I use it to take out the grease and products and residue that I have on my hair so what I do first is I rinse my hair with warm water let the water get in there and then I will apply some of this on my scalp you just want to concentrate the soap in your scalp because that's where you have your oils rinse it out and your hair is gonna feel very streaky and kind of like bubble gum like like really hard and stiff but don't freak out because at the end your hair is gonna feel amazing so the next thing that I do is I apply some lemon and this is a huge huge lemon that I got specifically for my hair I got it because it was huge so I said hmm it has more juice I will put my hair in a half ponytail and I will squeeze half of it on the bottom and half of it on the top if you have blonde hair this step is going to help brighten up your blonde hair wash my body and let this sit for about a minute or two after I've let that sit I will rinse my hair out next thing that I do is I use a deep deep conditioner which is usually um, this one or it, or it's the Aussie 3 in 1 which I already threw out because I've already finished it deep conditioner is a must because like I said the Dawn and this is going to strip your hair at this point you really do need a deep deep conditioner it might seem like a lot of work to some people because maybe you know it's a lot of product but to me it's not a lot of work because I've been doing this for a while now and I'm already used to it so it's not it's not hard for me to do this hopefully you guys learned something I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already I will see you guys in my next video bye